welcome to defender's voice this is dr paul thank you for joining us today please send your questions to info at drpaul.org it has been my pleasure to discuss these questions from a biblical viewpoint a christ centered viewpoint visit our website at www.drpaul.org to know more about our ministry and to subscribe to our podcast today's question is is it right to omit god from national day of prayer that's an excellent question you see as our society becomes more secular our prayers are also becoming secular as our society becoming more godless our prayers are also becoming godless the national day of prayer was designed by the united states congress quote to turn to god in prayer and meditation every first thursday of may so the president of the united states is required by law to sign a proclamation each year encouraging americans to pray and there's a tradition from George Washington to Thomas Jefferson to Abraham Lincoln to Harry Truman to Ronald Reagan to Barack Obama to Donald Trump to Joe Biden the US presidents took time asking people to pray now Joe Biden's presidential proclamation vomited god there is no god our lord or jesus in this proclamation franklin graham said that could be a clerical error biden's assistant probably made a mistake i really doubt that i think that is by design biden's white house has been conducting meetings with atheist and secular groups that is unprecedented in american history even atheists won national day of prayer these atheist groups spend a lot of time shaming people who pray in the name of jesus your thoughts and prayers are useless stop it then the multicultural crowd who say pray in the name of allah jesus buddha rama krishna prayer became ridiculous in his book the kingdom of god in america theologian richard neber wrote that we want a god without wrath brought men without sin into a kingdom without judgment to the ministrations of a christ without a cross so that's our basic problem we want a god without wrath we want a grandpa god who smiles at everything we do like a grandpa who gives out lollipops to children this god has no business in our affairs except to pat on our backs now let us get rid of this god altogether then we are becoming men without sin there are no sinners anymore everyone is an activist we don't need a savior we can save ourselves we can have a big government big spending plans big organizations to help our every need there is no need to pray for a savior then we want a kingdom without judgment there is no sin so there is no judgment so there is no need to repent for anything we do we actually got rid of sin then we want christ without cross we want jesus made in our image richard dawkins said if jesus were alive today he would be an atheist we don't want a crucified jesus who came to this world to save us from our sins we want a jesus whom we made in our own image we made jesus without his cross but the truth is we need jesus with his cross 
Apostle Paul said, we preach Christ crucified. We preach Christ crucified because only through the cross of Christ do we have access to the presence of God. Only through the cross of Christ can we approach the throne of God. Only through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ are our prayers heard by God. So it's a waste of time to pray without Jesus Christ our Lord. So we should come to the cross of Christ, get saved from our sins, accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and make our prayers in his name. Because without our Lord Jesus Christ, any prayer, including the National Day of Prayer, is meaningless. Okay, folks, that's all I want to say about this question. Please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, like this video and also share your comments. Thank you. God bless you.